Welcome to our YouTube video where we explore the fascinating world of peak performance through the lens of the best-selling book, Peak Performance, by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus. In this video, we'll delve into the key concepts discussed in the book and how you can apply them to enhance your own performance in various aspects of life. So, let's dive into the summary of this incredible book. But before we dive into the content, I kindly request a moment of your time to appreciate this video by liking it, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that notification bell. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Peak Performance is a groundbreaking book that uncovers the secrets behind achieving one's full potential in sports, work, and life. Written by acclaimed authors Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus, this book combines scientific research, real-life stories, and practical strategies to help readers understand how to reach peak performance levels sustainably. One of the central themes of the book is the importance of balancing stress and recovery in order to optimize performance. Stolberg and Magnus discuss how pushing ourselves beyond our limits without adequate rest can lead to burnout and diminished performance. They emphasize the need for deliberate rest and recovery strategies to allow our bodies and minds to recharge and grow stronger. Peak Performance by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus presents a science-backed approach to achieve long-term success. It emphasizes the importance of rest and recovery for enhancing performance and shares tools to optimize physical and mental well-being. Peak Performance employs success stories, case studies, and various examples of athletes, artists, and intellectuals to give you a crash course in performance. These blinks explain why performance became so integral to society in the first place and how you can be your best. Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus are both experts on human performance. Stolberg worked at McKinsey and & Company and has coached some of the top business executives in the world. Magnus holds a master's degree in exercise science and has coached Olympic athletes. Together, their writing has been featured in publications such as the BBC, The New Yorker, The Wall Street Journal, and NPR. Peak performance shows you how to perform at your highest level by exploring the most significant factors that contribute to delivering our best work, such as stress, rest, focus, and purpose. In 2003, an 18-year-old student athlete accomplished the staggering feat of completing the mile run in four minutes and one second, competing with top collegiate-level athletes. This exceptional performance took no small effort. He sacrificed all of the regular habits most teenagers have in favor of early bedtimes and mornings, long practices, and strictly managing his day. A few years later, another young man landed a job at the National Economic Council. He worked in a team that counseled the President of the United States on health care. Similar to the student-athlete, this young man also showed exceptional skills in his work. He ended up creating a working model for the effect of healthcare reforms on the United States economy. Many of his friends wondered if he would someday become the president of the United States himself. If these stories sound like those of incredible people with extraordinary skills, that's because they are. Unfortunately, both these strides ended in severe burnouts not long after these unbelievable feats. How do I know? Because these are the stories of the authors of Peak Performance, Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus. Thankfully, they were curious enough to examine their own struggles, which led to this amazing book. Here are three lessons I learned. 1. If people appear to get ahead more easily, they might be using performance-enhancing drugs, which have a high price. 2. Rest is just as beneficial for growth as stress and, in fact, absolutely necessary. 3. Multitasking seems like it works but actually prevents peak performance. Are you ready to achieve your own levels of peak performance? Let's learn how. Lesson 1. Performance-enhancing drugs work in the short term, but come at a great price. After working 72 hours straight as an intern at Bank of America, Moritz Earhart died. He is an extreme but, ultimately, one of many examples of how much we are pushed to overwork ourselves to compete. Burnout is real. Today, many people say they experience it frequently, if not constantly and it's only getting worse. In the information age we live in, it's easy to find resources that help us perform at peak levels. Unfortunately, however, this same connection gives us access to performance-enhancing drugs we wouldn't otherwise have. About 30% of college students, for example, use Adderall, a drug originally designed to help people with ADHD focus. And yet, 
The Center for Disease Control estimates that only 6% of people actually suffer from ADHD. While using performance-enhancing drugs is a symptom of people's commitment to do whatever it takes to succeed, ultimately it just leads to burnout. However, there's still hope for those of us who want to perform at peak levels but do so in a healthy, legal, and sustainable way. Lesson 2. Rest is an often overlooked but crucial component of peak performance. Olympic runner and bronze medalist Dina Castor has a rigorous training routine. One unexpected part of this routine is to sleep 10 to 12 hours every night. Castor believes the real growth and formation of her ability to perform at her peak state don't lie in the training itself, but in what happens in between training sessions. Whenever you physically perform at high levels, your muscles break down. It's when our muscles reform, however, that we actually gain strength. If we are constantly trying to train and perform, we never give our bodies the time they need to recover and rebuild the parts that have broken down. The same is true for the brain and other components necessary for our success. What most of us don't realize, however, is that this rebuilding process takes time, often more time than we initially assume. The next time you think you should be training when you are resting, think again. Recharging may be exactly what you need right now to keep building your strength. Lesson 3. Quality and quantity of work suffer when we try to multitask, so we should only do one thing at a time. Multitasking is connected to worsened long-term memory, a poor ability to filter information, and greater difficulty with pattern recognition. Multiple studies have shown that our ability to produce high quantities of high-quality work decreases rapidly when we think we are doing a lot, but are actually just multitasking. How does it feel, for example, when someone you are talking to is on their phone? They might say they're listening, but that's often just as hard to believe as it is to pull off. In contrast, consider Dr. Bob Coker, who is a professor at Stanford and venture capitalist. Despite his demanding jobs, Coker still makes the effort to really be with the people around him. Imagine the effect you'd have on others if you stopped being distracted by your phone or email and gave them your full attention. To understand the true power of single tasking, look at K. Anders Ericsson's study of violinists that led to the popular 10,000-hour rule. While all of the musicians in the study spent 50 hours practicing each week, only some went on to become international soloists. Ericsson found that these violinists were the ones that practiced to reach a single, focused goal, rather than multiple goals, during their 50 hours. Peak Performance is a marvelous book. It's a life-altering perspective on the essential components of how to perform at our highest levels. The research is thorough, with plenty of case studies to express the principles you will need to deliver your own best performance. Books like this help break through all the confusion about what it really takes to be productive and achieve our full potential without burning ourselves out. Peak Performance by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus is a book that explores the secrets behind achieving peak performance in any area of life. Here's why this book is worth reading. It provides practical strategies backed by science to help individuals optimize their performance and reach their full potential. The authors combine real-life stories and research to make the content relatable and interesting, keeping readers engaged throughout. With its insights into the psychology of peak performance, the book offers valuable tools to unlock excellence and maintain high performance levels. Those are the individuals who truly deserve to immerse themselves in this extraordinary book. Athletes who want to take their game to the next level. Artists who want to become experts in their field. Anyone interested in self-improvement or boosting their success. The 23-year-old runner who isn't sure what will help them win their next contest. The 45-year-old investment banker experiencing burnout at work. And anyone who wants to accomplish more but isn't quite sure how. Another key concept explored in peak performance is the power of a growth mindset. Stolberg and Magnus highlight how adopting a growth mindset, which focuses on learning and improvement rather than fixed abilities, can lead to greater success and resilience in the face of challenges. They provide practical tips on how readers can cultivate a growth mindset in their own lives. Throughout the book, Stolberg and Magnus weave in inspiring stories of athletes, coaches, and professionals who have achieved remarkable success by applying the principles of peak performance. 
These real-life examples illustrate how anyone can benefit from implementing the strategies outlined in the book, regardless of their field or background. Here are some valuable insights extracted from this captivating book. I believe you will find them highly beneficial. Feel encouraged to explore its wisdom further and let it spark new perspectives and ideas on your journey. 1. Technology has globalized the job market and ramped up competition. Just a few decades ago, getting a job was a piece of cake. As long as you stood out from the few people in your geographical area who had also applied for the desired job, you had a good chance of landing it. But today, that's clearly not the case. At this point, the job market is akin to a full-blown world war. After all, technological innovations have made it possible to do a number of jobs from anywhere on the globe. As a result, the number of people vying for a limited number of jobs has increased, which has made the competition fiercer than ever. To make matters even more difficult, an unprecedented number of people are committing themselves to breaking world records these days, a fact that makes standing out from the pack that much harder. For instance, in 1954, when the British athlete Sir Roger Bannister ran a mile in less than four minutes, lots of people thought his accomplishment represented the outer limits of human performance. But today, more than 20 Americans break that four-minute barrier annually. And finally, computers, robots, and other forms of artificial intelligence are putting the squeeze on the job market. Just take the e-commerce and cloud computing company Amazon, which is making human employees redundant by using technology. Since the firm operates entirely online, there's no need for cashiers or salespeople. Amazon doesn't even need to pay rent on or invest in storefronts. The rise of this online monolith has naturally resulted in the bankruptcy of some brick-and-mortar competitors, like the bookseller Borders, which previously employed over 35,000 people. To take things to an even higher level, Amazon is now looking into using drones to deliver its products, which may eliminate the need for human workers altogether. The point is, machines are getting smarter every day and coming for an ever greater percentage of jobs. Two. Impossibly high standards are driving people to take performance-enhancing drugs to ill effect. What would you do to get a leg up at work? Well, for many people, intense competition is leading to some desperate measures. In fact, performance-enhancing drugs have become integral to academic, athletic, and even professional life. For instance, researchers estimate that 30% of students take the study drug Adderall, a toned-down version of the street drug known as Speed. Adderall is used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD. But according to the Center for Disease Control, just 5 to 6% of the population actually suffers from this condition. Most students take this drug to increase their attention span, concentration, and focus. 3. The secret to sustainable success is balancing stress and rest. We've all heard the classic saying, work hard, play hard but maybe it's time to add rest well to this adage. After all, giving your body and mind time to rest and recover makes them stronger, which enables you to put in more effort in the future. Just take Dina Castor, a collegiate runner. She had never won a major race and so, hell-bent on achieving one, she went to train with the legendary coach Joe Vigil. Under his tutelage, she far surpassed her prior levels of success. When asked how she'd done it, she said the major impact was between training sessions and not the training itself. For stress can stimulate growth and adaptation, but a positive mindset is also key. In 1934, the endocrinologist Hans Selle did an experiment in which he injected ovarian extracts into rats. The rats reacted strongly, and he believed that he had discovered a new sex hormone. But he soon realized that he was wrong. In reality, the rats reacted exactly the same way to any injection. The experiment just shows that anything that shocks or causes pain and discomfort can trigger stress. Interestingly enough, however, Selly observed that the rats adapted to the stressors over time. In fact, stress can actually be positive and spur growth. 5. Multitasking is inefficient and it's best to focus on one task at a time. Do you love multitasking and consider it the most efficient way to get things done? Well, if you do, it's time to change your ways. That's because countless studies have found that both the quality and quantity of work suffers when people do multiple things at once. 
Just take research from the University of Michigan that found that multitasking can consume up to 40% of your productive time. Other research has found that multitaskers are worse at filtering out information, are slower to identify patterns, and have diminished long-term memory. 6. Rest is important for peak performance, but not all types of rest are equal. Have you ever wondered why so many people have their best ideas while walking, showering, or sleeping? It's in large part because such restful times allow the brain to step out of the linear thought process. After all, when you're actively working, your conscious mind reigns supreme. It functions in a linear, if-then kind of way. If this, then that. The issue is, you often fail to solve problems when you get stuck and begin obsessing about them. 7. Great performers abide by a few simple tricks. Whether it's a writer getting ready to type out a story or an athlete preparing for a race, a great performer will never just hope to be at the top of her game. Instead, She'll actively cultivate an environment that will help her do her best. That's why having a solid routine is paramount. Just take Matt Billingsley, the drummer for pop star Taylor Swift. Before every sold-out show, he takes 30 minutes to hop rhythmically from side to side. He then does some exercises, making wide circles with his arms and activating his core and back muscles. Finally, he shifts his focus to his mind taking deep breaths and visualizing each move while getting into the zone. This routine helps Billingsley stay focused and perform at a top level, despite the pressure of playing in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Having a purpose can help you transcend self-imposed limitations. It's every kid's dream to be a superhero with incredible strength and dazzling powers. And, as it turns out, the realization of such a dream might not only belong to science fiction. That's because fatigue and the physical limits of your body actually only exist in your head. In other words, you're capable of actions that go beyond your normal abilities. As we wrap up this video, we encourage you to pick up a copy of Peak Performance by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus to dive deeper into the fascinating world of peak performance. Whether you're an athlete, a business professional, or simply someone looking to improve your performance in any area of life, this book offers invaluable insights and practical guidance to help you reach new heights. In conclusion, Peak Performance by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus is a must-read for anyone seeking to unlock their full potential and achieve sustainable success. The book offers a wealth of valuable insights, practical strategies, and inspiring stories that can empower readers to optimize their performance in all areas of life. You can find the link to acquire a copy of this incredible book in the description below. Just like climbing a mountain requires dedication, resilience, and strategic planning, reaching peak performance in any endeavor demands a similar mindset and approach. By embracing the principles outlined in peak performance, you can harness the power of deliberate practice, recovery, growth mindset, and focus to propel yourself towards success. Remember, peak performance is not about achieving perfection but rather about continuous growth, learning from setbacks, and pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone. With the right mindset and tools at your disposal, you too can tap into your full potential and soar to new heights of achievement. Thank you for watching our video on the book summary of Peak Performance by Brad Stolberg and Steve Magnus. We hope this overview has inspired you to embark on your own journey towards peak performance and realize the limitless possibilities that lie within you. If you found this book summary helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more book summaries and insightful content. And share this uplifting summary with someone who may benefit from hearing them. Leave a comment down below if you've read this book or have any other recommendations for us. Until next time, stay motivated, stay focused, and keep striving for greatness and peak performance.